Live from News 9 WAOW, this is News 9's Wake Up Wisconsin. Good morning. It's Friday. It is. Yes. A smile. You made it to the end of the week. <laughs> Thanks for joining us this morning on Wake Up Wisconsin. I'm Josh Gregory. And I'm Nina Paholke. Let's take a look at today's top stories. It's going to be up to the governors. We're going to work with them. We're going to help them. Governor Tony Evers already makes his move. He extends Safer at Home, but loosens some restrictions. How his order allows some businesses to get going again. Plus, maybe six or seven a day is what the numbers have been like. The deaths per day just in Milwaukee County. Coming up, the new numbers and the charts that show a hopeful trend here in the Badger State. And local leaders aren't happy with the state's response to the pandemic. The cure is worse than the disease itself. Why they're pushing for the state to reopen straight ahead. News 9 WAOW, we've got you covered. But of course, first we want to check in with Chief Meteorologist Justin Lowe. Going into the weekend, people are going to be getting out and about. They need some good weather, Justin. Yeah, that's right. And it will be pretty good for most of the weekend. Today, oh, okay. tomorrow, Sunday, most of the time it'll be dry. There you and go. you got to get out and get some of that sunshine. Like I always <laughs> say, you know, it's good for the immune system. Good to get some fresh air and exercise. It's all good for you. And yesterday, still kind of chilly outside. I was outside trying to enjoy the weather a little bit. But boy, when the breeze kicked up and it was only in the 30s, still felt kind of chilly, especially for this time of year. 38 in Phillips, 38 in Marshfield. Now this morning, we're already seeing a little bit of sun. There's some scattered clouds out there, but uh, we are having some sun here in the Wausau area. Notice 400 blocks still covered in snow, but a lot of that is going to melt today because today will be a little bit warmer. We're starting out in the teens and a few spots in the north, 14 in Land Lakes, 21 in Phillips and farther south. It's generally in the 20s, 28 in Plover and 29 in Marshfield. And if you're out walking the dog, yes, below freezing this morning, got the little yellow paw up there, but green paws the rest of the day. It should be mainly dry, a little bit of sun, temperatures rising into the 40s. And our featured dog today, Nala, picture sent in by Allie. The coronavirus outbreak continues to spread here in Wisconsin. As of right now, there are over 3,900 cases statewide and nearly 200 deaths. This is all according to a tally by our affiliate in Milwaukee. And no surprise, half of both those numbers are in Milwaukee County, which is reporting over 2,000 cases. But looking closer at the numbers, it looks like the deaths per day here in Wisconsin is trending downward slightly. Earlier this month, we hit our highest number, 20 deaths per day. The numbers have fluctuated since then, but as you can see, they are starting to decrease, and these numbers include information. So we're talking in general older, more sick people um, who at any, uh, any given day might be expected to pass away anyway. Mm -hmm. And perhaps this infection with COVID is making it happen a bit sooner than it normally would have. And it's a similar pattern when looking at the number of statewide cases per day. We hit our highest number back on April 5th at nearly 300. But if you look at this chart powered by numbers from Johns Hopkins University, you can notice that slight downward trend. So to further help that trend, Governor Tony Evers extends his safer at home order. We've got another month under the order. Restrictions going until May 26th. When he announced the extension, the governor said so far, Data shows the restrictions have saved at least 300 lives and possibly as many as 1,400. Governor Evers implored people to follow the order so we keep flattening the state's curve. That our businesses, our workers, and us as consumers can't be confident if we're not confident about our safety and our health. I want to be honest with you folks, things won't get back to normal until there's a vaccine and treatment for this disease. The governor's order means that schools will be closed for the rest of the school year, and it means changes for some businesses. Non-essential businesses will be able to do more things like deliveries and mailings. Golf courses can open again with restrictions. Libraries can now offer curbside pickup of books, and arts and craft stores can also offer curbside pickup of materials that can be used to make face masks or other personal protective equipment. Now for some, this extension brings a silver lining, a chance to get back to work while others are forced to stay home. I'm just basically scraping the bottom of the barrel, being able to pay my expenses. Even for those still working, Safer at Home hasn't been great for the bottom line. A Wisconsin acupuncturist says her medical work is considered essential, but between constant cleaning and few patients, it's not sustainable and she's not alone. 
my unemployment check doesn't even help cover my personal mortgage, much less the three shop rents that I have due. This Wisconsin pet groomer says she's also struggling to get by. Her work is still non-essential under the new order, meaning she and her 12 employees are out of work for another month. And even though the greens can get back in the game, there are a number of sanitary precautions under the new safer at home order. You won't see any golf carts on these trails, which means you'll have to walk throughout the course and similar changes at a nature preserve in Grand Chute. Workers had to cancel all events and programs. Now doors are currently closed to the public, but the trails are open. Workers say more visitors are taking to the eight and a half miles of trails and that's causing some concerns. With the influx of people uh, coming here, we have been noticing um, more litter um, and then also uh, some vandalism uh, that's been occurring. Um, we put some signage out uh, for people just as a reminder. And if you recall, vandalism was one of the main reasons that Governor Tony Evers decided to shut down 40 state parks two weeks ago. And state legislative Republicans are strongly against the safer at home extension. Several suggested DHS secretary designee Andrea Palm be fired. They're also looking at suing. Assembly Speaker Robin Voss and Majority Leader Jim Steinecke say they're planning to act with legal and legislative options to deal with the extension of the order and to get answers to the questions people are demanding. And local leaders are calling for Wisconsin to reopen. Colby Abbotsford Chief of Police Jason Bauer wrote this letter to Governor Tony Evers noting the few confirmed cases in Clark County. His department is enforcing the order, but he doesn't think they need to be breaking up basketball games in the neighborhood. Stuff like that is uh, more difficult to me than going to a high risk call. And he's not alone. Multiple others have written to the governor, signed petitions, and even organized rallies to reopen Wisconsin, saying North Central Wisconsin has not seen a serious impact. The governor responded, saying our area may have fewer resources and the safer at home order protects us from a potential spike. Just next door to us, similar protests are already occurring. A group of people in Minnesota gather in St. Paul protesting their governor's stay at home order. And amid the extension, one official in Milwaukee County is concerned coronavirus could be causing death a different way. I think we're going to be seeing a lot more suicide, maybe even a lot more homicide related to unemployment and stress caused by everything being shut down. I saw my first one yesterday, but I'm expecting to see more of those. The chief medical examiner says the pandemic has also forced staffing changes at the Milwaukee County office. Now, the safer at home extension comes as Wisconsin's economy is hurting. Governor Evers sent a letter to President Donald Trump saying the state faces more than $2 billion in revenue losses. He wants the president to work with Congress to send $500 billion to states and local governments facing budget shortfalls. And Governor Evers says the state's unemployment rate sits around 15 percent. This as thousands of people have been laid off because of the coronavirus pandemic. Now, back on Wednesday, the governor signed a bill that waives the one week waiting period for unemployment benefits. The Department of Workforce Development is now working to implement that as it's being inundated with claims, calls peaking at 100,000 per hour. And many people across Wisconsin can't wait for the state to reopen. And the governor outlines what it will take for that to happen. He says we need a bigger health care workforce, more personal protective equipment for those workers, expanded contact tracing and dramatic expansion of testing. Health officials say the testing will give us an idea of the scope of this virus. We need a clearer picture of the situation, and the only way to take that picture is to further scale up our testing capacity. This is a critical and fundamental tool as we work to get to the next phase of our response. Health officials say labs are completing almost 7,000 tests a day. And states have new guidance from the federal government on reopening. The White House offered guidelines for a three-phase approach to getting businesses and schools going again. Each phase would last at least two weeks. The president said governors can go through the guidelines at their own pace. In America's pandemic epicenter, New York Governor Andrew Cuomo says they are not ready to reopen. Why don't you open tomorrow? Because we're afraid the infection rate will go up. Right now, hospitalizations are down, but the state is seeing about 2,000 new cases a day. That's not all. Officials setting their sights on another major concern. 
We've been watching the nursing homes because nursing homes in many ways are ground zero for this situation. And across the country, Los Angeles County facing its highest number of deaths reported in a single day so far. But President Trump says governors in states with less cases will be able to order people back to work soon. Starbucks also unveils its plan for reopening. The CEO told employees the COVID-19 situation is being watched closely and local conditions will determine which stores reopen and when. Currently, some U.S. locations have shifted to drive through only. Others offer entryway pickup, curbside delivery, and at-home delivery. And due to the coronavirus pandemic, countless graduates this year are missing out on commencement. Yeah, graduation ceremonies here in Wisconsin and across the country are canceled. So Natural Light Beer is holding a worldwide commencement on Facebook Live for the class of 2020 next month. The event will be on May 14th, and it's for all college grads that are over the age of 21, rightfully so. Now, Stephen A. Smith, Mark Cuban, and Jane Lynch are among the guests who will be in attendance for this virtual graduation. And down in Alabama, a childhood tradition honors healthcare workers. This group of girls are using money that they got from their lemonade stand to buy lunch for the essential employees. They purchased 20 lunch boxes in all. Such a sweet gesture and gives you hope in these times of need. Well, time right now, 641. Not all big upcoming events have been canceled. Coming up, how local officials are not just incorporating the pandemic into their planning, but also severe weather. And if you look outside, no severe weather here, no snow, just sunshine. A, yeah, you got the bright <laughs> sun in the sky. Will it stick around and will temperatures warm up? Justin will let you know next.